Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. My name is Azmir and today I'm going to give my opinion on the best Eleco home gym setup. Before I go through my recommendation of, for the equipment, I'd like to say that this recommendation is based on several factors. Number one is space, number two is practicality, and number three is cost, relatively speaking. Okay, so here is my recommendation. Number one, the XF80 light rack with the safety arms. Number two, the XF bar. Number three, 150 kg set of sport training disc. Number four, you might not be able to see in this video, but a pair of lock jaw collars. Number five is the flat bench. So these are my recommendation for the, for the perfect Eleco home gym setup for most people. It won't be ideal for some people, but I believe in general, this would be a great setup, uh, bearing in mind the three considerations that I mentioned earlier. Okay, now, let's go through them one by one and um, talk about my thought process in terms of rec recommending all these uh, items. For the XF80 light rack, the competition is the Eleco squat stand or Eleco uh, light squat stand or, or the XF80 half rack, not the hybrid. Why did, why did I choose the XF80 light rack? Now, with the squat stand, you don't get the safety arms. And I think this, is, this can be an important um, decision uh, that someone needs to make when deciding on, on a rack because the squat stand doesn't come with any safety arms. It's also quite lightweight. This weighs in at about 87, 88 ki uh, kilos, I mean the light rack. And the squat stand is about 25, 27 kilos. It only wins out with its port portability. So it's easier to carry uh, in and out. You can just collapse it and put it in your closet or somewhere in the corner of your, of your room, as opposed to the XF80 light rack where you pretty much have to leave it where, where it is, okay? But in terms of safety, I think um, this light rack would provide that safety reassurance to most people. When comparing, when comparing the XF80 light rack with the XF80 half rack, there's not much difference except that the half rack, you can have the pull-up bar. And I'm not too sure how many people uh, would use a pull-up bar. Um, but for me, I chose, I chose the uh, light rack just because I think it looks a little bit more aesthetic in a room as compared to the half rack. But you can choose either one. The flaws, I believe, I haven't seen the half rack um, uh, before. We had the half rack hybrid before in the showroom, but we've never seen the half rack with a pull-up bar before. I would assume the, the space that it takes is about the same. It's just higher with a pull-up bar, and that's it. In terms of space, the squat stand, the light rack, the half rack, I believe that it takes almost the same amount of uh, space. So, it only, so the, my decision in selecting the XF80 light rack is based on how cool it looks and uh, the types of um, attachments that you can have with um, the, the, the light rack. The squat stand, all you can do is just squat. Of course, it has its bench hook and also the dip. Um, but with this, yeah, you can get the safety arms. You can also use the XF80 fitness attachment with the light rack, uh, which you can, you can do with the squat stand. Okay, you can do it with the uh, XF80 half rack. But again, the decision between the light rack and also the half rack for me, at least, comes down to aesthetic and probably price. So obviously, the half rack costs more than the light rack. Okay? In terms of the squat stand versus the light rack, the base model of the light rack 
is cheaper than the squat stand. But with the squat stand, you of, of course you get the two uh, handles that you can do dips with, the bench hook and also the squat hooks. Other than that, I think the XF80 light rack is a more practical rack than the squat stand. Moving on, let's go over to the barbell. Now, for, for the barbell, I chose the XF bar over the other bars that we have in our selection. That's because I feel that the XF bar is the most versatile bar in, in the range, plus it is also the cheapest, okay? Um, it has bushings and also bearings. That means you can do cleans and you can also do snatches. You can't do this with a rack bar or a power, performance powerlifting bar. However, if you, uh, if you wanna train with a powerlifting bar, that's up to you. It's just more expensive than the XF bar. And if you don't mind about not being specific to your sport, I believe that XF bar would be sufficient for most people. Thirdly, the sport training discs. Now this might be a bit uh, contentious because the sport training disc is actually more expensive than the XF bumpers and also the IPF discs. Now, so why did, why did I choose the sport training disc? Number one, the XF bumper is, is very thick. So you can, there's only so much that you can load onto a, a bar. And um, I feel that having the sport training disc will allow you to grow uh, as, you, as, you, as you grow stronger. Right, so you don't have to keep buying another uh, sport training disc in the future once you get you can hit above 150 kgs, for example. With regards to the IPF competition disc, this is a personal preference. I never like the, the competition disc that, that much, uh, just because how you it's very difficult to handle, you know, because it's very thin and it's, it feels so heavy, even when you're carrying 25 kgs of the IPF disc and the 25 kg of the sport training disc, they feel, they feel very different, okay? So somehow the IPF disc feels a lot heavier and I just don't like it. Plus, sometimes you get my, your, my fingers jam between the two discs when you load them. It's not, easy, it's not a very easy disc to handle as opposed to the sport training disc. Another big reason why I do not recommend the IPF competition disc for a home gym is because it's just steel. Now, if you want to do deadlift, you have to think about extra padding or extra rubber mats for your, to protect your flooring, right? As opposed to this one, um, because, because it's thicker and because it's rubber, uh, I don't have that much anxiety when, you know, when I need to drop the, the weights on the floor. So the IPF disc is just, I don't know. I mean, if you are, if you're a powerlifter, you're, the, the, the steel disc is probably one for you, but um, as a matter of, um, uh, again, practicality and uh, ease of um, mind, I would rather get the, I, I, would, I would rather spend a little bit more and get the sport training disc, okay? The next, next thing is that you also need a pair of uh, collars. So obviously the collars that I would recommend is the Lockjaw, Lockjaw Pro 2 collar, and you can also choose any other collars that you, you want that serves your purpose, okay? The last bit on the whole uh, Eleco Home Gym recommendation is the XF80 flat bench. Why this flat bench? Again, this, is, this boils down to cost. This is the cheapest bench that we have. Uh, a step up would be the classic flat bench. Yeah, you can use that as well. Not, not, a, not a big deal. And uh, if you want to have more flexi flexibility, you can go for the classic adjustable bench. But that's more expensive than either two. So that's the rundown of what I think is the best Eleco home gym setup. Let's just run through it again. Um, number one is the XF80 light rack with the safety arms. You can opt without the safety arms if you want. They, they don't come, they come separately. Number two is the XF barbell. Number three is the, the 150 kg sport training disc set. Number four is a pair of lock jaw collars. And last but not least, the XF80 flat bench. What do you guys think? Do you think this is the perfect setup? Or do you think that maybe, you know, a half rack would be better because you have the pull up bar? 
If you have any questions about any of the products that uh, I've, I've talked about, leave your questions in the comment section below. I usually answer all the questions. Uh, um, I might take some time because of uh, work commitments and whatnot, but I definitely will, inshallah, reply to your questions. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you are new to this channel, please click the subscribe button somewhere down here. Don't forget to turn on the notification. With that, uh, I hope to see you again in the next Zilfit TV episode. Ciao!